Welcome back to another Rat Face 44 video G.I. Joe update on the, the thrift store find of the century. All these 90s goodness, G.I. Joe, a real American hero. So I spent a lot of time curating and restoring these O-rings from these amazing figures. Um, I sorted out all the accessories. It was a big ordeal. I spent the whole night last night and part of the day today categorizing and figuring out these guys' names. Because I'm not really 100% too familiar with these 90s Joes. This fills in a huge gap in my collection, even though I do have a, a fair amount of 90s Joes. But uh, I got all the names, and some of them are very surprising. They're version 2s or version 3s of original 80s characters. So the first one I got at the top here, that is Cutter version 2. Very cool figure. So we're going to go through all these figures one by one and just take a look at the condition and style of these some of them are crazy and but some of them are freaking amazing this is the only accessory that came with cutter unfortunately i'm not 100 percent sure what this accessory is looks like some sort of some sort of periscope maybe i'm not even 100 percent sure but he's a really cool kind of navy uh, uh seal guy and next we have stretcher he's a really cool character i like this one this one is not as bright as some 90s characters um he looks very real world military and this is the only weapon that he came with this uh crazy kind of looking flare gun i guess or even looks like maybe some sort of rocket missile launcher or whatnot <laughs> but he is in very very nice condition very minimal scratches i don't see scratches you can see the tampo on his shoulder looks really cool that's Stretcher, version 1, from 1990. And next, we have Gung Ho. I am familiar with this version of Gung Ho with uh, Hoodie Coco doing reviews on Gung Ho and going through all the different versions. And the, the what I remember from his review is the uh, tattoo there. Uh, it is, <laughs> how does this tattoo get smaller and, get, and move up? basically by his neck which is very strange but overall this figure looks pretty cool it's crazy i like his kind of uh camouflage vest and surprisingly there is the american flag that uh is a little bent but uh, uh that's awesome that it came with it and his massive machine gun so most of these figures i do not have in my collection which is awesome so that's gung-ho version 3 from 1992 so next we have Balrog. I think that's how you pronounce his name. Ba Balog. But he's from Street Fighter 2 from 1993. And uh, I believe he is complete. Um, he has both his boxing gloves. Um, he has the same body as Big Boa. Um, he is very minty condition. And uh, I really like this figure too. It's the darker skin version of Big Boa. <laughs> He's a, a heavyweight boxer uh, from Street Fighter 2. Next we have Rock and Roll version 3. Um, I have the previous version which is a <laughs> better color than this one. It's more like a sandier color and more realistic. This one is the, the, the epitome of the 90s with the bright colors. I do like his giant weapon. is really cool. And this one unfortunately has a broken crotch but you know <laughs> what can I say? I got this whole bag for $3, and I did not have this one in my collection. So next we have Bulletproof. This is the only figure I had previously, which is really awesome. He comes with his backpack and his helmet. I do, um, I have this, um, I have this one in my collection already with his uh, gun, so I could add it to this figure and uh, maybe do an upgrade. More complete figure. Um, I like this figure. I love the camouflage, the digital camouflage on him. He looks really cool. Next, we have Law version 2 from 1990. 
and he is the other one with the broken crotch unfortunately and surprisingly he has the more the most of all these figures the most success accessories uh then the, the next figure we're going to be looking at but he's very cool i really like his colors it's it's kind of the same figure but you know it's hard to say I, I do like the original one better and uh you know the colors here are a little bit more uh, uh lighter than the original but he's still really cool looking figure and uh he has the uh kind of futuristic weapon here i think this is a uh a black version it's a black version of a previous weapon but it is really cool figure he is in decent uh paint but unfortunately he has a broken crotch and see he comes with his uh, machine gun and tripod which is awesome and there's another smaller weapon that he comes with also next we have a wetsuit version 3 from 1992 and uh, he's almost complete. I'm pretty sure um, I have the, the missiles somewhere. They all look kind of generic black missiles. And uh, I do have this figure, but the orange version. Um, I do like wetsuit. This is an awesome figure, uh, despite the crazy bright yellow. But that's just a benefit if he's diving and they need to find his body. <laughs> But uh, yeah, he has this crazy kind of flipper gun that's pretty neat. And, and the spring-loaded weapon here, or a, even it's probably even a vehicle, underwater vehicle, which is really cool. And next we have Sci-Fi version 2 from 1991. This is my favorite out of the lot, uh, despite the uh, surprise at the end of this video so stay tuned uh, we're gonna do a restoration of steel brigade so this is my favorite i love the colors on this figure this is a definite uh upgrade to the original version uh this one's a little bit more realistic i i, I in my opinion he's wearing that gray jumpsuit with the cool yellow piping and the yellow gloves and the mask is just and helmet are freaking awesome and the backpack is cool has nice technical detail on it done in this silver plastic which is freaking cool man this figure is i didn't even know this existed to tell you the truth and i'm so happy to have this in my collection and one of the few 80s figures here is scoop from 1989 and i do not have this figure in my collection which is surprising i might have pieces of him but he is in beautiful condition with his helmet, missing the mic, of course, you know, and there's a couple of mics that are missing and that's pretty much given. It doesn't really bother me very much and it's impossible to find. Um, it was impossible to find this, uh, call up this, this bag of Joe's that I picked up at the thrift store, which is awesome. So I'm not complaining at all, but here is scoop. Um, he is cool. I like the yellow and green, his mask, nice futuristic mask came with his weapon check that out i know there's probably other like his camera thing that's missing but uh there's scoop i like scoop next we have top side from 1990 um he's one of the more complete uh figures that i got here um comes with his submachine gun uh, his backpack and I know there's three of these missiles, so I am not surprised the third one is missing because where the hell is it going to go, right? So another thing that really surprised me, and after doing research, the stand for the missile uh, backpack is there, which is freaking awesome. It's so delicate. <laughs> I'm so surprised that it's not broken. But overall, all these Joes are in amazing condition, like... Next, we have Mutt version 3 from 1992, DEF. There's a couple of DEFs. I know uh, the, guy, the guy in green up there is a DEF. I like this figure. Uh, definitely, this is going to be in a classified line. Uh, Hasbro would uh, definitely repaint him. He looks like something from Slaughter's Marauders. The same type of colors, right? With the blue and green. And he's very minty. Check out the color on that. It just pops. Nice and shiny. Unfortunately, I don't have his dog, but I do have Junkyard. An extra Junkyard uh, from my vintage one. So he'll fit right in. 
Uh, the colors on this guy is very nice. He comes with his uh, freaking weapon. That's awesome. And I forgot about sci-fi here. This is sci-fi's weapon I had originally in my collection, uh, just with my parts collection. Collection. So that's his crazy sci-fi weapon. Next we have Cross Country version two from 1993. And uh, one of the unfortunate things, that kid had some fun painting up this guy's vest, black from the orange there. And same with his hat, it's painted black, it's usually gray. And uh, maybe some, I was thinking of maybe trying to get it off, but you know, I don't want to mess with it really. So it, he comes with his crazy rifle here. Um, I do have a gray version of it. If anybody in the comment section can tell me what this weapon goes, I couldn't find it on Yojo, but it's the exact same weapon, but in gray. Yojo.com was impossible, so he didn't have it in there. So here's one that surprised me who this guy is. This is Lifeline version four from 1994. Uh, never seen this figure in, in my entire life. This is at the end of the Real American Hero line. And he is awesome. Great update to the original Lifeline. Uh, I really like his outfit with the red and the gray and the white pants. Very cool. Um, this is definitely one of my favorites also, and one thing is unfortunate, he's missing his mic, of course. <laughs> but, uh, this thing, I was surprised too, I didn't know this was actual Lifeline's, uh, suitcase type thing, right? So, he comes with the crazy, uh, I don't know, smoke signal or whatever, rocket launcher, like, it's a different color of the version that, uh, one of the other figures have, but he's very awesome. So in the pile that I had here, there was tons of accessories. I sorted all through them. So one of the coolest things, uh, adding accessories to original Joes that I have. So here is Red Star. Um, he looks really plain without his hat or backpack. So his backpack is pretty cool. Nice sculpt on it. And what was really surprising is the antenna in the, in the, in the lot there. That is awesome. I couldn't believe it. And tiny little piece and the knife too um, he it definitely looks cool the unfortunate thing about you know this type of uh, Joe is that the plastic is very brittle considering you know the the gray light colored plastic so his crotch is blown out unfortunately next here's another October guard I have unfortunately forgot his name um, I is the one I didn't write down but he's really cool. Came in, I think, at a three-pack. I remember looking it up yesterday. But uh, found out, yeah, there's his rifle and his backpack, which is so dope. Rounds this character out even more, even though he looks really cool. And next, we got, uh, I think, Sky Creeper. I think that's his name or something like that. His weapon was in the lot, too. This one stuck out like a sore thumb uh, <laughs> with this bright type of turquoise color. Uh, really awesome. I like this figure too. It is crazy, crazy colors, and he is pissed. And lastly, uh, here is my awesome Snake Eyes uh, version four or five. I can't really remember, but these weapons were in the lot, and I did not have them. So this is awesome. I get to add Snake Eyes' sword and his crazy submachine gun that is too big, but that rounds out. Uh, the accessories that I didn't have for my original Joes in my collection. Oh, and I forgot about this. Uh, I think this goes with uh, Mutt. Yeah, it has one missile. I guess he just catches stuff in this net. And Lifeline, he comes with this crazy spring-loaded weapon with this hook or grappling with a bunch of string, so it shoots out pretty far. There are pieces for the G.I. Joe headquarters from 1990. Here is the flag for it. And you got a couple of spring-loaded missile launchers here. So next, the surprise. The big, big surprise in this lot that I automatically saw is the Steel Brigade here. And we're going to do a real time as much as possible to replace his o-ring 
So the one thing I want to do first in this uh, replacement O-ring, uh, the screw looks does not look rusted at all, which is good. I want to put a little bit of heat on him just to be safe because this plastic is very brittle. So I'm just going to heat it up with the hair dryer and I'll be back in a sec. All right, guys, so I've heated up uh, it's version C of Steel Brigade. I looked it up in Mark Belomo's book and I get the bigger screwdriver to uh, break the seal. So I put pressure like this and to give it a twist. You can hear it break the seal. And then I get the smaller one here. So forgive me, I gotta look. There you go, get a lock on that. So all the other upgrades or the all the other restorations of the Joes went perfectly fine without a hair dryer because these are fairly uh, newer Joes. So that came apart very easily. So I have an extra O-ring and uh, it's gonna be a little tricky because of the broken crotch, unfortunately, but what can I say? It is my first. It is my first uh, Steel Brigade in my collection and I'm ec ecstatic. <laughs> so, you know, there's not much for the legs to seed in there, so. This is what I do, there we go. And it, this is the part where it's the trickiest. So try to arch as much as possible, get some tension on there and try to keep it. So doing this on camera is gonna be a little tricky. So I'm gonna zoom in a little bit here for you. And one thing is really cool is his backpack. That is amazing, but unfortunately there's no weapon. I looked at every weapon and I know it's a bayoneted uh, rifle, so uh, I do not have it in the lot, which is very surprising because there's some really small pieces in that lot and I was surprised to have them in there, which is amazing. So with the head and then the last arm. And I'm most likely going to speed this up. <laughs> so, fingers crossed. There you go. Move the arm back up again. Oh. <laughs> Not a big deal. Just put the arm in like that. Pull it off. Put it in. And the, arm, the other arm falls off. <laughs> Here you go. Let's try it again. go and there you have it he is together and grab the screw here actually this is pretty good with the zoomed in I can actually see better <laughs> so I give it kind of a twist back and give it a little bit of a squeeze and don't make it too too tight just till it stops that way you know, you don't want loose limbs. So there you have it. Let's zoom back out again. This is awesome. Let's put this backpack on. There you go. Not too tight. And we got a nice star stand here. Star stands, uh, star stands are perfect for 80s Joes. Um, small Joes are good for 90s Joes because the peg is a little bit bigger but I was uh, but always be careful putting your vintage Joe in a figure stand <laughs> because you don't want to blow out the heel and I've done that previously so here is a closer look at the Steel Brigade as you can see the silver is very good uh, there are I don't see any scratches on this let me know if you can see some, but I don't. It looks freaking amazing. And this is going to be the grail of my collection, which is super awesome. And I'm going to put it right in my detail. And it's going to be awesome. I can't, I can't wait to add it to my collection. So there you have it, guys. There is my thrift store haul 
uh, absolutely amazing. I couldn't believe it. This is a find of a lifetime, and I thank everybody for watching. Please, if you like my videos, like, comment, and subscribe. It would be very appreciated. Share this video with your friends. Never stop collecting. I don't know who says that, but I've heard that before. There's always still finds out there. 2024, and I found all these Joes. It is amazing. This made my month, made my year. 2024. Thanks for watching. Yo-Jo and Cobra. Cobra.